Hey guys, it's your pal Dave from notesandvolts.com back with a quick update video. If you remember the last project we did, we made a project called the MIDI 2 Relay. That project allowed us to use an Arduino to take five pin MIDI in and control eight individual relays on the output. So I got a lot of comments for that video and a lot of people really liked it. One really stood out. Someone named 49 Woodside commented, fantastic project, Dave. This will allow me to control my guitar amp channels and effect status, amazing. Well, I read that and I thought, what a great idea. What a great application for this project. So I pulled out my little PV Classic 30 tube amp and we're gonna hook it up and see if we can control it with our relay project. So this could be really useful because if you're in a band and you're playing along to a MIDI sequence, you could actually put amp settings into your sequence and control your amp automatically. That's pretty cool. So thank you to 49 Woodside for the comment and let's see if we can make this work. Okay, so here is the project we built, and I'm not going to go over the details because we did that in the last video. So I'll put a link in the, in the video description where you can watch that last video, and it will show you how to build it and program it and do all that fun stuff. So what I have here is a, a MIDI keyboard that's got MIDI CC on these knobs, and as I turn them up, you can see... Once they reach about the halfway point, they will turn on these relays. And of course, this project also works with MIDI notes if you want to go that way. So CC or notes, it will work just fine. So a lot of old school tube amps use a very simple foot switch to control the channels and maybe effects or boost it, depending on uh, what features your amp had. But these switches are, are very simple. So if I open it up, you can see it's just two foot switches connected to a stereo foam plug. And basically the way it works is you've got uh, one part of the plug will be common, then the uh, ring part will go to one switch, and then the tip part will go to the other switch. So that way we can easily control two functions on our amplifier. Now this will work for a lot of amps, but it's not gonna work for all of them. So you wanna double check what type of foot switch your amp actually uses. So this is a foot switch I got from a uh, 80s era uh, Fender amp, and you can see it's got three channels, and this works really weird. It basically takes AC voltage in, and there's a bunch of diodes in here that chop parts of the waveform off. It, and it allows you to control three parameters with just a two conductor cord. So this might not, this project might not work with this guy. So once again, double check what your amp uses. If it uses a simple two foot switch box, then you're good to go. Now to uh, connect my amp to the project, what I did is I got this little uh, eighth inch stereo jack and it basically breaks out to some screw terminals. So these are very handy to have. Unfortunately, I didn't have a quarter inch version, but that's okay. We'll just uh, use a cable adapter to make this work. So I have a cord and on one side, we've got this eighth inch stereo plug. And then I used a adapter to adapt it to quarter inch to plug into my amplifier. And that's how I made that work. Now to hook up to the relay, you notice each relay has three terminals. And I've got my little continuity meter here. So the middle terminal is usually the common one. And if I touch the common one and the one here uh, to the right, notice I'm getting a signal. It's actually connected. So this side is called the normally closed side. So that means when the relay is off, these two pins are connected. Now the other side is not working because that is the normally open side. So that means that will be off until the relay turns on. And you can see when I turn the relay on, now those two are connected and the other side is not. So that's the side we're gonna use, the normally open side. So that means when the relay is off, I want my switch to be disconnected, and when I turn the relay on, 
it's going to connect the switch. Then all I have to do is take my cable, plug one side into the foot switch jack on my amp, and the other side to my little adapter here. And when I, there you go. I can hear the amp kicking on to the distortion channel. All right, let's test this whole setup, make sure it works. So I've got my guitar amp foot switch connected to these two relays here. I have this giving MIDI to my project and these two knobs, this will be reverb and this will be uh, channel select. So uh, we'll start with just the uh, everything off. Add the reverb. Once it gets past 60, it's going to turn on. There's the relay. There you go. Turn the reverb off. Turn the uh, channel select on. That will kick on the distortion. Add the reverb. Now this might seem like a lot of hassle just to step on a foot switch, but like I said, the cool thing you could do is instead of using a keyboard, hook this up to a sequencer, Ableton, or whatever you use, and you could actually automate the amp switching in your song. So there you go, guys. We made it work. Thanks for all your comments and all these great ideas, and there's probably a lot more things you can do with this, so maybe we'll explore some more things in the future. But before we go, I got to give a big shout, as always, to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Let's enjoy your names.